Hello YouTube, this is Jack Jaguar and I'm here with... Hi Jack Bang. And what did you do? Uh, I got first place at Ghost Gaming's uh, Legacy Destruction Case Tournament. Alrighty, and what did you play? Well, I was playing Snake Eye Kashtira. Surprised by the Snake Eye cards are very cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get into your uh, main deck then. Cool. So, pretty standard. Playing 3 Ash, 2 Fog, 1 Oak, 3 Wedge, 2 Burge. Um, there was... The new Snake ID Bellstar is very good. I just didn't have much time to test it, but I've seen a lot of players have very good success with it. So, mm -hmm. uh, pretty standard and pretty standard Snake Eye stuff. I'm mm -hmm. going to explain this. Yeah. Um, so the cash tier part, it was two race off birth, one unicorn, and two Fenrir. A little bigger engine, but you could argue to take out a race off or terraform. Yeah, so but I was just... I'm afraid of Jewel. Mm -hmm. I never got Jewel, so it didn't matter, so mm -hmm. nothing to consider. And then for non-engine, it's called Wide Talents, three Infernos, two Nib, two Ogre, two Mourner, and three and three. Um, this is more than once per turn, you can do it as many times, so that's it sucks under Shift, I get that, but you know, if I open three of these, like, if there's no Shift, I can still use them. Yeah. So, and this lineup was fine, two, two, two. I don't really think I need to make any changes for this. Uh, the only thing like you could consider is like three here, three mourners, but I just, mm -hmm. I just like three bailers because you can just dump bailers as many times as you want. That's fair. Yep. So uh, main deck should be 42 or 43. I'm pretty bad at counting, but <laughs> it's there. Um, the extra is free Santa. It's Anima, Heat of Dark, Phoenix, SP. IP. Um, I made this once. I never full combos because I always got hand trapped or like shifted. So, <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty good. The net standard line you have, it's very good. So I, I shouldn't say it's pretty good. I just never full combo. The full combos like off, oppo, hit night with a uh, flambridge with mm -hmm. hit night putting flambridge, and whenever you, you normal summon, you just active flambridge to summon, and it just comes in for him, So, and it's a free princess pop because it comes back in phase if it's destroyed. So. It's very good there. Princess, Celine, Atlantis, Phoenix, Oppo, and I played Axis Code. Uh, like I said, I'm not playing any Synchros, so I have like a bunch, three extra slots, so I said why not. And this card's very good, so I pushed for game a lot of times. I had two of the mirror because I just had Axis Code instead, so. Did you ever miss the, you know, like having a, uh, the Jet Synchron or anything like that for I Synchro? Jet Synchron for the extra bodies? Mm -hmm. But the synchros, most of the time, I never really. Well, you can play the Omega or like the Dispower, the Omega Dispower line. That's good because you rip two cards. But mm -hmm. I was running the Hot Red line for a while, mainly just to beat breakers. But I mean, it just felt worse when you couldn't get to it. Mm -hmm. Since you're just playing normal Snake Eye, so I just like this one more because Kestier cards eat a lot of interactions. Like first action, Unicorn, mm -hmm. you can definitely eat a hand trap, and that's what happened a lot of times. Nice. A special oh. unicorn and just ate it from 8 ash or 8 something. So I could just snake I combo afterwards. Um, Goddess. Never summoned it, but it, it was there on the chance that if I get talents, I can summon this and nothing happens. <laughs> so, but I guess like a tower's out, but it's there. Like I said, I had extra slots and then Typhon. Typhon's very good. I love Typhon. Definitely recommend playing it. Um, sideboard. Uh, play the one foot that still exists for some reason. <laughs> I like this over Deaver because it just covered more. It's not like it's like a smaller, it's like a case tournament, right? So, like, you know, we're facing people that we know to a certain degree. It's not like a YCS tournament, but there's argument for barrier. I just like this because the coverage was better. Yeah. Um, so the talents. This card is questionable. I don't know. I did. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it should, should be another card, but I mean, maybe respect voiceless, could have been droplets or something else, but it's yeah. hiding there. Uh neck back removal. There's really not much to explain about that. I was trying these though. Um I don't know. This card's uh I'd rather be a lot more other decks and just 
snake eyes for so. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd try it out. It was okay. In retrospect, I need more Biss deals because I do play, still play the two Biss deals. It's still very good against Voiceless and other matchups, but yeah. this was like everything but Tenpai, I should say, because it has some application in the mirror. Yeah. But it's very fringe, so I don't know. Did you face any Tenpai? Or Tenpai? I faced one. We kind of, uh, he hand shot me twice and shifted. So I just kind of ended on a really weird board and then he stormed me and passed. So I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, we're not doing anything. That's very cool, I guess. So it was really weird because he just never drew engine. Mm -hmm. Anytime he drew engine, it was one interaction. And I just hand trapped it every time. I was like, field spell effect, ogre, pass. So it was, <laughs> it was really weird. I don't, I wouldn't really say it was like a real game because you know, mm -hmm. we didn't really play. So yeah. And, and the last card, so that third nib and third end gear. Okay. So that's the score. The mirror and also this is really good against voiceless and other matchups as well. So uh that's all that. that's it. Uh shout out to then, shout out Pastor David from the Church of Zark, he's goaded. And shout out uh Aro Yuga and Noko Yu-Gi-Oh! Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yep, have a good one.